Hi there. For sure, you all heard that starting with version 55, Firefox will not support any more Firepad and Firebug add-ons. These were very useful add-ons to locate elements based on their XPath, and we, at Selenium Toolbox, needed to find an alternative. I will present you in this video two different replacers for Firepad, and you can decide which one you will be using from now on. Both ways presented here are based on Chrome browser. So, open Chrome, navigate to google.com and let's inspect this element. As you can see, the developer tools window will open and the inspected element is highlighted. Now, right click on this element and we have here, copy XPath option. To validate that the generated XPath is usable, in your Selenium test, do the following. Hit Ctrl F and this small search box will open. Paste the copied XPath and verify that only one and the correct one element is found. This search box can also be used to write relative XPath, as we used to do in Firepath. So, for example, we can find the same element by using an input field that has the name equal to Q and again, only one element is found. Another way is to install a freshly developed extension for Chrome. So, open the Chrome Web Store page and let's search for XPath. Chropath is the extension that replaces Firepath, so let's install it. A browser restart is mandatory after installation finishes. After restart, let's again navigate to google.com, inspect the search box element, and now, in the right part of the developer tools or window, we will find the Chropat tab. Once this tab is highlighted, we can choose absolute or relative XPath option and click each one of the elements in the DOM. The XPath of the clicked element will be issued in the box. And as you can see here, only one element matches each one of the generated XPath. Also, with Chropat, you can build relative complex XPath as you like and seen before. If you want to gain great work experience with relative XPath and awesome ways to locate all type of elements from the web DOM, Selenium Toolbox has a great video about that on Udemy and Skillshare. You can find the link in the description. This was all from this toolbox. Thanks for watching.